Hey, welcome back. Steve AZ711 here. Well, today I'm going to turn this seat cover into this seat cover. Instructions say to lay the cover out upside down and tie a string to each of the end loops located in the center. Three packages of string. Cover is upside down. You can tell because the pockets are right here. I like this seat cover. It comes with pockets. I had one once before on this truck. Wore out. Then I bought a cheap nylon thing that I knew I shouldn't because I got one of those ones before many years ago for something and they are just you get what you pay for they last maybe a year these right here these saddle blankets they last quite a while okay you tie a string to each of the loops position the cover over the seat okay that's what I'm going to do. Okay, it says now to uh, position the cover over the seat cushion with the vinyl velvet strip in the center and pockets in the front. Pull the tie strings through from behind, pull each seat belts through the openings provided, then position the top part of the seat cover over the backrest. Make sure that the top corners fit on each side. Locate the loops at the top of the backrest, tie the strings from the center up to the loops located at the top of the seat cover starting in the middle and working out. Attach the string using double loop knot as shown and pull snug. But do not tie. Straighten and smooth the seat cover on the backrest to make sure the pocket in front is in the correct position. Then you can complete the knots at the top of the seat. Tie a string to each of the loops located at the front of the seat cover under the pocket and, and secure each of these tightly under the seat, starting in the center, working out, checking the seat as you go. Caution, keep the lacing clear of the seat adjustment mechanisms. To tie the sides of the backrest, attach string to the loops located on the side of the seat cover and attach to other strings or loops. Be sure to check the seat cover before making your final knot. Okay, well, I'm going to attach the strings to the bottom and to the sides and see how that works for me. And then I'll position the seat cover over the seat. That way I should have all my strings tied.
Okay, well, looks like I had three strings short. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and see what I can do with what I have, and uh, maybe I'll have to move a string or two and get it right. Well, there's the original 1977 Ford F-250 seat. Probably similar than the other models. Still not in too bad a shape considering how old the truck is. I think I'm going to put a little Gorilla Tape on it, help it, before I put the seat cover on. Well, I think we can all agree that tape is only a, it's not a, not even a temporary fix. It's just a temporary peace of mind. It will not hold up. The glue will dry out, but at least I got some peace of mind that something's over the holes <laughs> or the rips. I did, this would be a good chance to check under your seat and behind it and do some inventory. Okay, I have the seat cover positioned. I'm going to begin tying the back down starting from the center and working towards the ends. My body will be blocking the camera so I'll come back and show you when I finish. Okay, there's the seat back tied down. Now I'm going to uh, tie the seat bottom to the back, and I'll be back. Okay, all done. Uh, I wasn't able to tie the two center pieces down because uh, there's really nothing to tie to. Uh, it, you actually, you you can get if you have smaller hands, you can maybe get to the springs because the hump is in the way. And I wasn't able to do it, so I left the two center pieces off. Um, that would be the ones in the front that go from the front of this right here and down. And I left these two off, but I was able to come back this way and tie to the springs, reach underneath and put it around a spring and pull it tight. I went all the way down here and I was able to tie this one, I believe, to another one. And then when I got over to here, I just tied it to the bar. Um, for now, it may or may not work. When you pull the seat forward, it does, you know, move it a little bit. But obviously, it'll pull it back when you go back. And I tied this one here to right here. Pretty much the same way on the other side. I do not have, most of these are only a single knot. I haven't double tied them yet because I'm going to let it stretch and then maybe I'll retighten them again or put a put better knots in them so they're just a little single knot all the way down that's for adjustment anyway there you have it I really like these saddle blanket seat covers they're very durable they look good on older trucks or maybe even newer trucks for that matter. I just think they look good on trucks. It's a good seat cover. It'll last a long time, I know from experience. And I'm thinking you might want to have a little patience when you do this. They're, uh, they're fun if you got time. And they're they're really not all that hard. They're just it just requires a little patience following the instructions. So until the next video, this is Steve AZ711 saying have a nice day and hope your seat cover projects go really smooth and easy. And bye for now. pockets for extra storage. They're really kind of cool. 
That's a knife. <laughs> 